So we're back in the adventure van, off to a new destination and it's a beautiful day, sun shining, blue skies, so we thought we'd make the most of it. Mac is really excited, he's ready to go, I'm ready to go, so um, let's get going. So today I've brought you to the Aldenham Country Park um, which is in Hertfordshire. I'm sure many of you have been here already and for those who haven't uh, it's a bit of a country walk with a little bit of urbanization nearby but it's absolutely amazing because it's in the middle of nowhere but you've got the main motorways and everything around it so the main transport routes around it but it's absolutely amazing because you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere and you'll see once we move down the trail um, into the woods then how beautiful it is so let's get going Oldenham Country Park is lovely for everyone and I keep saying everyone or who it's desirable for because ultimately I want people to come out and enjoy and know what they're going to get when they come out here so for kids there's plenty of stuff to do for the adults there's plenty of stuff to do and if you go over that way to the main clubhouse or the main area, not the clubhouse, but the main area. Um, there's uh, lots of stuff to do there for the kids. There's various play areas, there's horse or pony riding. Um, there's a lovely cafe there. There's a lovely um, uh, shop, a country shop with all kinds of things they sell. Um, and uh, there's also a lovely really nice actually and I've been there with my son is that there's a special needs um, play area like a like a sensory room come sensory play area come outdoor play area but for special needs kids so if you have any special needs children then um, bring them to Aldenham Country Park I think they'll love it it's really nice and it's well taken care of so uh, it's, it's a great place to come bring the family and come here it's not far from London, it's not far from around the M25, uh, it's uh, literally on the A41 uh, near Elstree, Watford and Bushy, sort of in between there. So um, it's a great place but let's keep walking and I'll take you on a nice tour around the inside of the woodlands and around the lake. Good boy, Mackie. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Let's see Oldenham Sailing Club. So if you like sailing, or you want to learn how to sail, or you want to teach the children how to sail, then you could uh, come along and sign up. Nice little cabin. Looks like a very friendly place. Oh, blimey, I almost, almost hit this tree. <laughs> Look at the size of that tree. It's massive. It's huge. <laughs> oh, let's keep walking. You enjoying it, Mac?
So the trail is really just a, a loop around the lake. There is a massive parking lot as soon as you enter. Just park there, bear to your left and start the trail. It starts off with Tarmac Trail and then goes round and gets uh, quite muddy and, and a proper off-road trail. But it literally loops around the lake and there's various places you can actually get closer to the lake within the woodlands and sit by the lake if you wanted to spend some time relaxing by the lake. And they're, they're really working on this place and maintaining it and doing various things. Uh, you will see in the summer, the last time I came here, a couple of years ago, this was really thick with growth. Lots of plant life, bushes, trees, little trails. But they're obviously working on it because it shouldn't be this thin. But I could see there's lots of areas they've dug out, created holes probably to plant trees. Wow. Look at the size of this tree. That's amazing. It's massive. I like to bring my dog Mac with me. Especially because these trails are easy for him. They're nice and easy for him and easy to uh, to maneuver and, and get around in not that many miles or kilometers. So it's this 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 trail is probably about oh look at that. I love the spot. Very nice. So as I was saying, this trail is probably about three and a half kilometers probably about three and a half four kilometers so it's not long it's okay for Mac he likes it he doesn't get too tired I love it I think people should explore more and come out here and enjoy the wilderness and some of these beautiful places that we have around us at literally no cost it's pretty much free apart from the parking you will have to pay for parking here and it's probably one of the only places that you'll pay for parking when being out in nature so uh, make your way here and, and actually explore so glad it's a sunny day blue skies, sunshine all day and these are the days you have to make the most of being outdoors I mean rain doesn't bother me nor does the ice and snow which we rarely get but we do get it but you gotta make the most of every every day that you get like this So you'll get these little areas right by the lake where you can get really close to the lake. Obviously when it's nice and dry, you can come sit here, put a little picnic blanket down and sit by the lake. It's absolutely amazing, it's fantastic. Water is so good for you. It's good for the body, it's good for the soul, it's good for the mind. Take in some water. Come to Aldenham Country Park and sit by the lake and enjoy it. Right. Let's go along this trail and see if we can find anything else. Oh. Nice. Nice. Very nice. You can probably hear vehicles in the audio 
and that's because there's a little road that runs alongside the lake on one side so right behind that woodland there is a lake and right behind this woodland there is a little road it can get busy at times so uh, careful if you bring your dogs it is fenced off but still always need to be careful mate I'm telling my dog be careful mate <laughs> he's trying to hop over a massive log and slipped whoa look at the size of this tree it's massive it's huge the size of those branches <laughs> look at that <laughs> oh maybe you get a better view if I stand in front of it how about that is that does that give you scale and size <laughs> Huge. That's a massive tree. That's an ancient tree. <laughs> ancient. So I thought while I sit here and enjoy the nature, I'll show you my new purchase. It's a little, uh, coffee container or cold drink container um, a hot drink stays hot in there for approximately five to six hours and a cold drink for nearly 24 hours it's a camelback so it's a new addition uh, of bottles or containers from camelback and it's really cool it's leak proof it's got a, a fantastic seal on it it's vacuum sealed and the top is vacuum sealed so all you do is twist the top and you hear the pressure come out and you can sip on it from any direction and it leaves no coffee or hardly any residue from the drinking area it goes back in so there's no wastage either and there's no spillage for sure That's where we started, on the far end where you see the little bridge right by the water in front of the woods. So I've come around there, gone around the woods, all the way around and we've ended up here. Yes, you're not going to get lost here. It's very nice and easy, nice and simple. You wouldn't need a map reader for sure. <laughs> it's a family trail. But you could bring your bikes. Bring your mountain bikes. If the kids love riding, this is a cool place to ride. It's just a little loop around the lake. Uh, in the winter, it does get muddy because of the rain. But in the summertime, this is a lovely place or in the winter bring them here in the winter it's fine the one thing you can't do is you're not allowed swimming in the lake you're not allowed fishing and you're not allowed to bring kayaks canoes or any flotation device because you're not allowed in the water simple as that but you can bring your bicycles and have a nice family ride it's a lovely trail it's really nice i think max found some friends 
Who is it, Mac? Who is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Westy, mine's dirty. <laughs> oh, he's, like, he's been having fun. He's been having lots of fun. Oh, <laughs> come on, Mackie, you dirty, dirty boy. Look at you. You're filthy. You're filthy, Mac. Once again. Ah, just can't bring the dogs out, can you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hi. I think your kids would love this. How about you? How about you, buddy? Oh, that's okay. That's all. I got nothing to eat. I don't have any food. Sorry, I only have coffee. Coffee? No, no coffee for you. I forgot to mention, they also do uh, glamping here. So they normally put up some yurts near the woodlands. It's normally about five or six yurts in the summer and you can come glamping. Look at that. Look at that. Ho 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 ho. Huge. There's rows and rows of ancient oak around this trail look at these Wow, look at the carvings on them. Somebody has spent hours here carving the acorn. Acorn, there's a leaf, there's an owl, there's an owl. A butterfly? There's a butterfly. And that's a fish. There's the fin and the scales. Very nice. Oh. And there's a cow. A bull. A horned bull. Can you see it? Oh my goodness. Now that has made my day. Just seeing art in nature. So what I'd like to ask is how often do you get out into the nature, into the outdoors, into the wilderness? And who do you go with? On your own? With your family? I'd love to know. So if you can comment in the uh, comments below and let me know how often you get out into nature because I really would love to know. It gives me an idea of people's nature, people's behavior and how much you treasure the wilderness and nature. Yeah, drop a comment in the comments. Let me know how often per week, per month, per year, that you get outdoors. 
So that's it guys, uh, we've come to the end of today's micro adventure. It's the uh, Oldenham Country Park. As mentioned, there's lakes here, there's an adventure play area for kids, there's glamping here. Um, there's uh, various play areas for special needs kids. There's a lot to do, there is a lot to do. And I'd just like to leave you by asking you to please subscribe to my channel and there's a lot more content going to be published every Sunday so please subscribe uh, if you like the video then hit like and um, like I said I really would like to know how often you get out into the wilderness and the uh, nature and uh, on that note please leave a comment in the comments there's going to be more information tons more information in the description so check that out click on the link which will bring you to a web page with all the information about Oldenham Country Park. So until then, see you out and about.